Quran is not a book of science, but a book of science. Yet it contains undeniable facts related to science. There is an incident described in the Quran over 1400 years ago about a man called Abu Jahl, who was not only an enemy of the Muslims during the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but also a well-known pathological liar, compulsive liar. So Allah, God, sent down the revelation describing the actions of this man. Does he not know that Allah sees? No, if he does not desist, we will surely drag him by the forelock, a lying, sinning forelock. Here in these few verses, Allah specifically points out that the forelock, the front area of the head, is a lying and sinning region. The human brain is not only one of the most important organs in the human body, it is also the most complex. The brain is divided into four major sections known as lobes. The frontal lobe, the occipital lobe, the parietal lobe, and the temporal lobe have different locations and functions that support the response and actions of the human body. Here is a breakdown of each of the four lobes and some of the functions they have. The occipital lobe receives visual information, interprets colour, shape and distance. The temporal lobe is responsible for memory and new learning, receives auditory messages, understands spoken language and rhythm, controls how things are ordered and categorised, some visual perception. The parietal lobe responsible for visual attention, touch perception, monitors sensation and body, position, control reading, face recognition, understanding time, goal directed voluntary movements and manipulation of objects. And then there's the frontal lobe, which is responsible for conscious thoughts, concentration, perseverance, judgment, attention span, impulse control, which is self-monitoring, and supervision, problem solving, organization, critical thinking, forward thinking, ability to feel and express emotion, empathy, memory for habitats and motor activities. The frontal lobe has many functions, most which center on regulating social behavior. The function of the frontal lobe involves the ability to recognize future consequences resulting from current actions. The choice between good and bad actions or better and best, the override and suppression of socially unacceptable responses and the determination of similarities and differences between things or events. When someone lies, brain cells in the prefrontal cortex, the planning executive of the brain, works harder than when we tell the truth. Pathological liars have shown to have more white wiring matter and less grey matter in the prefrontal cortex of the brain than other people. Over the last decade, scientists have used functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, to more accurately locate regions of the brain that changes when a person lies. This technique measures changes in blood flow in the brain, a reflection of neural activity, while people answer questions while inside a scanner. The resulting images pinpoint brain activity in a specific region during the lie and truth phases of the deception paradigms. Although several brain areas appear to play a role in deception, the most consistent findings across multiple fMRI studies is that the activity in the prefrontal cortex increases when people lie. The prefrontal cortex, situated just behind the forehead, is a collection of regions responsible for executive control, the ability to regulate thoughts or actions to achieve goals. Executive control includes cognitive processes such as planning, problem solving and attention, all important components of deception. Dishonesty requires the brain to work harder than honesty, and this effort is reflected by increased brain activities. Let's take a closer look at the prefrontal cortex subdivisions. This area of the brain has been divided into three main subdivisions, known as the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, orbitofrontal cortex, and the ventrolateral prefrontal cortex. In recent years, neuroscientists, criminologists, forensic psychiatrists from around the world have carried out a number of studies on the human brain. In particular, interest of the criminologists and forensic psychiatrists has been the prefrontal cortex subdivisions, in which regions some have described in which wicked behavior takes place. The frontal cortex is an area of the brain which plays much of the final decision making when doing crimes such as murders, serial killers, rapists, robbers, etc. The front lower part of the brain called the orbitofrontal cortex is an area which is involved in moral decision making in figure out what's right versus what's wrong. They have noticed a similar pattern in the brain scans of criminals in this region. Studies are still ongoing and more information is slowly being revealed but one thing is very clear and that is the prefrontal cortex is where lying and sinning takes place. Does he not know that Allah sees? No, if he does not desist, we will surely drag him by the forelock, a lying, sinning forelock.